Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nicolescu and you'll know me for the REST API connectors for Salesforce, ServiceNow, Zendesk, Jira and so on. Today, we will make a video on how to start a process on UiPath uh, uh, Orchestrator using the REST API. Yeah? So how to start a process using a REST API command from another software. So I have two processes. I have a simple process, which is just a message box, and this process is called MSGS from simple. And I have another process that has parameters, MSG param, yeah? So I have two parameters, param1 and param2, which are direction input. I have to do these processes inside of my orchestrator, yeah? And we will send a message via REST API to the orchestrator to start these processes and also will pass parameters to these processes. Okay, good. So let's see what we have. You will go here on documentation and you will see how to consume consuming cloud API, yeah? So you see here that first you will um, send a post message to account that you have come token with these values, with tenant logical and so on and so on. So first we need to get this one. So to be able to get this one, you will go on the um, uh, UiPath platform and you'll get your value, user key account and so on. To be able to get your values, you go here and you click API access. And this bring up the, uh, the window where you will get all your values. With these values, we will send the first command that will give us the access token. I will go to Postman and here we'll see what we configure. So the post will be on the account UiPath.com authentication token. Then you'll have the content type will be application JSON and the tenant in my case is fantastic. On the body, you'll put the ground the fresh token, you'll put your client ID and your user key. I will run now the my command. And if I run the command, I will get an auto access token and I will copy this access token and I will put on the authorization here yeah? on the next commands. When we'll have authorization, I'll select auto authorization and I have this one. So I have the access token. Now, the second command to, to start the process, it's starting job, yeah? So you have platform at uap.com server start jobs, yeah? And you have to provide him the release key and the strategy and the input arguments, if you have input arguments. First, we will start a simple process, yeah? To be able to start a simple process, I will do this. This is the complex process, and this is my simple process. So on my simple process, I have the headers. JSON and fantastic. Be careful with these headers. So here is very important. All the API calls will contain. So the code will be um, orchestrator URL account, tenant account, logical name, authorization beer token and uh, and UiPath tenant and so on. So this will be always on all the comments that you send, okay? So from your platform, this is the uh, um, uh, the link. So you have uh, tenant folder and everything. So you copy this one. And let's see, here I have platform UiPath.com fantastic, uh, start job. Perfect. I have content. I have uh, uh, XJA path tenant. And on the body, on the authorization, I copied the authorization key. And on the body, I have release key and strategy, all. From where I get this release key? So you'll get it only one time, the release key. And you will go here. You will send a message, you will send a uh, comment to the server, which will be get. Again, with all the, all the link, with releases, and you put a filter and you say filter with process name. My first process is message simple, yeah? So if I will send this with message simple, the system will return me the key. And this is the key. You get this key and you go further, yeah? So you copy this key, you put the key on your message, on your message. And now when you send a comment, it's the same one, the REST API say, um, uh, system send a message to the uh, um, 
to the orchestrator, and the orchestrator will send a message to my robot, and the robot start the process. Hello, robot, start from orchestrator. Good. Now, let's send a uh, start a robot with the parameters. So the same thing, the headers, the authorization, the same link, but now on the body, I will use this input arguments, yeah? And it's param1 and param2. Remember that I define these arguments inside of uh, my process, yeah? Param1 and param2. So if I will send it now, the REST API will send a command to the orchestrator. The orchestrator will receive the command with do these two, para two parameters. And then the process will start with these two parameters. You'll see hello with parameters. P1, parameter one, is test data the one, and P2 is value for second. Okay? So remember, follow me on the YouTube, and you'll find a lot of interest in moving on how to work with sales for service now, NetSuite, uh, send desk, fresh desk, and so on. And in the future, I will make videos how to start. UiPad robots from other software like this. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good one.